TSM Imperial Hal is a man of many talents. What? He's one of the best Apex players the world has ever seen. He's a man for the ladies. And potentially, my long lost brother. But today, I ask the question, is it all in the aim assist? I'm testing Imperial Hal's very own controller settings to find the answer to the question that we all want to know. Do controller settings actually make a difference? Oh! Oh, bro. Oh, there we go. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Before we answer that question, we have to ask some others. Like, what settings do I use? And who even am I? For those of you that are new around here, I'm a pred level player, Pathfinder main, and overall silly little fella. And if I'm gonna make the senpai man, Imperial Hal, notice me, then I'm definitely gonna need a few more subscribers. Please. The settings I'm currently using in Apex are a 5 look sensitivity with a 3 ADS sense with a linear response curve and small look dead zone. These settings are both smooth and sturdy when I need them to be, which gives me all the freedom I could want. Like, I'm basically a bird flying through the clouds. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Ooh. But what are the- <laughs> But what secret saucy settings does a CEO keep up his sleeve, I hear you asking? 4-3 linear, no dead zone. So, so basically the same as mine. The two differences we have to point out are the difference in dead zone, which means he has a small amount of extra room to flick his stick for small adjustments to the aim. And of course, the difference between four and five look sense, which is a beautiful little feature called ramp up time. Calm down, level 200s. I said ramp up time, not rampart time. Four look sense has ramp up time and five doesn't. And five is a little bit speedier, but if that still doesn't make sense to you, here's my expert, easy to understand breakdown for you. Here is me turning with four cents. And here is me turning with five cents. I hope that makes more sense now. I, I'm sorry, I, I belong in jail. And with that out the way, it's now time to put Hal's sense into action in game. And what better way to do it than by hot dropping into Fragment, taking the first wingman I could find, and grappling onto the closest enemies near me. Revenant 10 HP. What's the map? Cracked. In market, in market. He beats me on. Wait, I'm down? How could this be? And who was I talking to in game? All will be answered by my trusty friend, Nacho's Killer. Don't worry, guys, I've got this. She's gonna swing your left. Well. But with no fear, our random wraith teammate cleared things up and kept my chance of impressing the CEO alive. Well done, Arise. That gets a thumbs up from me. And hopefully from the people watching too on the video. Please like the video. I swapped out the alternator for an R301, dropped an ungodly amount of syringes on the sidewalk. Don't do this at home. And full sent my green and pink cheeks over into streamer building. I knocked it. There's a Bangalore bump on the floor. Thank you, thank you, thanks. There's a team waiting to come over on the zip. What the hell? Don't give me alt or anything, man. <laughs> So my aim wasn't exactly perfect, but with things going well and streamer building calling me back for more, I wasn't about to switch up my loadout just yet. But if you are looking at switching up your gaming PC, then make sure to check out today's video sponsor, Apex Gaming PCs, who have a wide range of pre-built or built to specification PCs, including their own line of Simply Ashton PCs for affordable prices. And make sure to use code Ashton at checkout for a discount.
Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Oh, there we go! <laughs> uh, yeah, not gonna lie, I have no idea why I found this so funny. One too many G fuels, I think. Do you think that Uncle Fuse subscribed to you after that juicy one clip? Uh, yeah, I think he probably did. Uh, shoot this and scan that. Oh! I guess you could say at this point, I was starting to understand why Hal likes these settings. The him look. And with three squads left, 16 kills already in the bag, and the chance for more, there was only one place I was ever gonna rotate to next. They're just chilling up there. We can kill both of these teams, you know? There's no way they hear this. They just don't- they just don't know! They don't know! Oh, I love life! Oh my god! I think teammate might have snuck that one. Don't worry, Wraith. I forgive you. <laughs> I, I, do I? But I see you all down in the comments. Ashton, you use the easiest gun in the game to control. This proves nothing about the controller settings. Well, honestly, you're right. Like, the 301 is pretty easy to use. So I hopped into the next game with a flatline and a point to prove. Oh, that guy is one. He's weak as two. Weak as two. I don't know what it is about the Nemesis, but I can't work it out. I just can't work it out. Unfortunately, nobody asked how you feel about the Nemesis. You ever just wipe a squad, think it's over, and then there's like another 50 squads just waiting to jump on your brain. Yeah, that was a very optimistic fish. Oh, shit! And there he is. Crawl, my boy. Crawl me. I have to resin, bro. He's down there now. Sponge boy me, Bob. He's down here with me? Yeah! <laughs> He's low, where he's full health. Oh, bro, the flatline is one HP on that hound. I'm oh. Oh. Flatline, bro. It just, I, I can't explain. Um, as we moved into the final stages of the game, we finally got to rotate away from the cliffside and down to Mill. And as a Pathfinder main, I had one thing on my mind. No, no, not that. The other thing. Okay, I made a play. Wait, you're dead? Yes, I have indeed perished. I'm in searing pain. Sheesh. I think that the team that was gatekeeping us here will be running away like little fairies. 
Oh, you're right. All this too. Good shit, man. One. So, just like that, we had done it. Two massive games that were sure to impress Imperial Hal, because he definitely thinks big games in pubs are impressive, right? <laughs> right? All that was left to do now was switch back to my usual se- Oh, you mean to tell me that I'd been on my usual sense this whole time? That after my ramp up time demonstration, I'd forgotten to switch back to Hal's super laser aim settings, and that I'd done this all on my usual sense? I guess the moral of the story is that you don't always need someone else's sense to do well in Apex. Sometimes all you need to do is practice and have a little bit of self-belief. Don't forget to subscribe!